Hey everyone, Paul here, PZ Guitar, your virtual practice partner. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a very, very important topic, especially here in the dead of winter. Today's January 20, 23rd, 2024, and for the past number of days, it has been bone dry here in the house. And uh, so I wanna talk about humidity control for your, for your instrument, so coming up. <laughs> Hey everyone, Paul Zagorski here, PZ Guitar. And like I said at the, at, the, at the intro, humidity control is vital. It's a very, very important aspect that you have to uh, maintain. It helps the stability of your guitar. And <clears throat> I noticed because we had you know, a couple of weeks of like 15, 20% humidity in, in the house here. Even though I keep this in, in the hard case with the Zager uh, Humid Pack, as well as these Daddario, uh, Humid packs as well to try and maintain. It's still wood is this, wood wood changes. Wood is is almost alive, you know, in a way. And so um, I had to change the uh, the setup on the guitar. Fortunately, I keep a record of the of the string uh, heights that I that, of, of the setup that I like. I use it with a little gauge. And so um, I just I just changed the setup for this. For for me, I I like you know. Uh, putting a capo on one and measuring the, uh, the, uh, the high E and the low E string, I generally like 0 .10 or 0 .09. Right now this is at 0 .09. I'll measure it again tomorrow and make it a final adjustment because I just made the, the change yesterday. I want this to settle in. But this particular guitar, I, used this, I, I purchased the Zager uh, Humid Pack here. This thing is really quite, quite good. If you have a Zager guitar, I highly recommend using this because the sound hole is slightly different than, let's say, for example, on my Yamaha. The Yamaha, this does not fit the Yamaha snugly. It fits snugly on this thing. So what happens here, you, you wet a sponge, you shake off the excess, put it, the sponge in, lock it up, and this goes into the sound hole. Whoosh. And now that goes into the case. In addition to the case, I also put in these, hum these Daddario uh, uh, humid eye packs. And it actually comes as, as, a, as a set of three. As a set of three of these things. And so <clears throat> these things I put in, uh, I put two under the, underneath the headstock, and I put one here in the, uh, in the cutaway of the guitar. And it's a nice little niche right here for, um, you know, it, it just it just fits it nice and snug. If you want, you can put all three or put one or two in the headstock and to help uh, hydrate the rest of the guitar. But it's very, very important that you take care of the humidity and, and control the humidity for your guitar. It will last a lot longer and, it, and, your, and your guitar setup will be much more stable. Now these humid eye packs, can, you can actually rehydrate these things. As they give off humidity, they get hard. Right now they're still pretty pliable. But what happens is that what I've learned from a user that was on, on the channel when I made a video about this some time ago, I take a little, little bowl, I put these guys in the bowl, I fill up another bowl, put water in this, put, put, the, uh, put this in, in stuff like this, and now cover this up with, with cellophane, and, and it will rehydrate in two or three days. And they're good to go for another couple of months. So that's actually kind of a cool thing. But the most important thing here is to make sure that you take care of the humidity on your guitar. Uh, I, was, I, I just was surprised as to how much the setup changed. It was like 0 .04, 0 .004, as, as this at 0 .004, and on the high E was 0 .005. And it's really, uh, it, was, it was just buzzing terribly. But now that's been fixed. Uh, Denny has a great little, um, um, uh, a little, a little, addendum, a little piece of documentation on how easy it is to change, which I, I kind of know how to do it anyway, but his, his documentation is, is, is exemplary and plays, plays like a charm again. So again, keep practicing and take care of the humidity for your guitar. Now I have to figure out how to do this for my, for my, uh, my electric because I don't have a hard case to put it in. What can I do? Anyway, keep playing and I'll see you soon. Hey everyone. Up here is going to be a video that you might want to play next. Or down here is going to be a playlist that would be a good thing to do to get more practice along the same subject lines. So until then, 
play this one or play this one. It's up to you, whatever you want.